I consider myself lucky to be here today, but the fight continues. It's not finished. Quebec is near a pandemic milestone of 15,000 deaths linked to COVID-19. And a 46-year-old triple vaccinated father from Joliette, about 50 kilometers northeast of Montreal, was almost another statistic. But Nicolas Chiquan managed to pull through. He survived a month-long coma after he needed 100% oxygen and intubation following weeks of a COVID infection. A hard month for his family and partner of over 20 years, Nancy Lebeau, and a shock to the man who was otherwise healthy. I'm a really active guy. I bike, I work in a physical domain as a mechanic, I'm a man of the woods, I walk a lot, I'm not a sedentary person. So it came as a surprise to Nicolas when after contracting COVID on January 31st, he developed a double pneumonia and needed hospitalization in Joliette, later transferred to the ICU at Montreal Sacré-Cœur Hospital on March 14th. Doctors discovered he had a mass between his heart and lungs known as thymoma. We didn't know he didn't have antibodies, that he was immunocompromised, and it was at that point that he deteriorated, placed in an artificial coma. It was a roller coaster with some close calls. We were very worried. Nicolas had three or four relapses, enough to not know if he'd make it through the night or how he would be the next morning. Nancy and his daughters were constantly by his side, mostly watching him through a window or playing him songs through an iPad. As of April 10th, we were able to breathe when he started to wake up and we found that he had all of his memory, that he didn't forget anything. From there, things improved. He had to learn how to walk again, how to eat and how to write. On Thursday, Nicola returned home. I'm very, very happy, but there are other sentiments since I'm more dependent. I can't do everything myself. It's hard, but overall things are looking up. A little bit of a long road ahead for Nicola, who lost 40 pounds since his hospitalization. It could take months before he returns to his old self. We will do physio, rehabilitation. We'll take our time and Nicola will succeed. Now forever changed by COVID, being extra careful and calling on others to do the same. We didn't think it would happen to us, but you don't know what you have in you, whether it's a cancer that can attack your system. So don't think it can only happen to others. Look after yourself. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.